We're live. Welcome back to The Letters. I'm your host, Jeff Grosso. I don't know what episode we're on. Who cares? This is all about fucking getting down. Aerials. Airs. Since time and memoriam. The invention of the skateboard. Kids have been trying to get hot. Fucking jumping up and down like little monkeys trying to get air. Ed and Adeline fucking gorilla grabbing off of a fucking picnic bench. Yeah, dude, shit gets fucking hectic quick. So um, this episode is just to get you stoked and get you out the door and in the fucking air, man. never give credit to George Orton because we're always too busy giving credit to T.A. But fucking George Orton and the Verde Bowl, dude, that was some heavy shit. What is it, Gunnar Hago? Gunnar Hugo? I don't know how to say his name, but fucking doing indie airs before Dwayne dubbed it the indie air. Dwayne pointing his finger with the incredibly low head placement, which I believe is the caption. Dude's completely upside down. You can't fade Dwayne Peters in the air, even though Gunner did it first. Who cares? It's not black and white. The fucking water is muddy. Drink it down. Don't sip it, gulp it. The jump round is a facsimile of an aerial, but it's totally legit, it counts because Jess the Mass Martinez, about seven feet in the air, just fucking, ah! Oh. Yeah, dude, and I'm sure Tommy Guerrero's knees, if I were to discount the jump ramp air, would disagree with me. So, yeah, all that shit counts, man. Getting down is getting down. You're flying through the air, you're doing something right. First, everybody was doing foot out, two foot out aerials. And then everything kind of went to three foot out, fence high. If you could go fence high, you were really doing something. You know, Andrick's kind of the, you know, he was the first one to, to you know, to kind of break the fence high backs of air, uh, you know, and to, to really usher in the, um, the space race, so to speak. Then they broke the fence high mark and they started going five and a half, six feet out. And then, sh and then it was off to the races and pretty soon, the soy is breaking the 10 foot mark. And then like a month later, I believe H Street released an ad of TMAG going 10 feet at Cedar Crest. And so then TMAG was claiming I was the first one to go 10 feet. And I mean, who gives a fuck? An air at that height is insane. Cause you look down and you see your friends, the deck, the back of the ramp. It, it, it's pretty fucking gnarly, man. I know, I've been that high. What's it gonna take to win here? Good airs, fast lines, <laughs> power, strength. And then for a long time, they had, they had a high air contest again at the uh, Raging Waters contest, at the Lip Trick contest. And Steve Caballero broke the Christian and Tony's previous record with a measured 11. The name Method Backs at Air comes from, from Neil and, and his, his clan, right? Like, I think it was Greg Pinky DeColan, De who's no longer with us, rest in peace, who named the Method Air. You know, because that, you, you arch your back, you lift your legs up, that's the method. You know, Neil's trying to imitate Dave Andrick. There's the, the, the boned out front side air, a la Alan Losey, where everybody gets up on top, and there's the John Thomas chicken wing type, you know, otherwise known as a wig air, again, blender. It's all these little ways to um, contort your body and basically stay on. 
keep the board on your feet and make it back down the wall. Um, straight leg fronts of airs, uh, you know, like Jeff Phillips. Nose bone fronts of airs, again, blender, but Chris Miller took those and made them his own. Chris, I think, came up with the crossbone lean air. Might show you a rocket air or two. Fuck, I don't even know who did the judo first. Mickey Alba's alley oops. Malo's a gnarly, gnarly aerial enthusiast. That dude knew how to fucking fly. Lester Kasai, you can't talk about aerial assault without talking about Lester Kasai. Uh, Lee Ralph has that pretty famous photo doing about a seven foot front air over the channel at Lance's. Yeah, man, aerials. They're fucking rad. <laughs> Billy Ruff is a man of note. Blender, Lance Mountain, Krishna Soy, T Mag. Stevie Caballero, man, Cab was like the first dude to like do the fly out over the coping method and then suck it back in and get it back onto the wall. Art Godoy, Art Godoy had some of the, the some of the earliest super bionic backs and ollies I'd ever seen. Fucking Alan Losey's Japan Airs, Tony Hawk's Japan Airs, Lester Kasai's Japan Airs. Fuck Reese Simpson, bitchin' aerial enthusiast. We've given a lot of love to Blaze in the past. Blaze knew how to fucking fly. Fucking Buck Smith. Buck Smith had a hell of a back snare. Back in my day, here's where I'm gonna sound like a grumpy old man. You know, where we all wore pads, we were a bunch of pad trolls. Uh, you know, aerials were much higher. You take the pads off, the airs kind of go down a little bit. I'd like to see you guys blast, dude. Get up there. The early 90s pros, the guys that came all behind me. By that time, bionics, you know, were set in stone. Like everything you had, you did had to be head high or you were dog shit. And probably the first thing was going to tail. Like how high can you do a lean to tail? How high can you do a Madonna? How high can you do a body jar? And around the same time of how high can you go to tail is how high can you go to fakey? So, you know, so again, you got Jason Jesse and Ross and Yosefer. Yosefer's uh, Mike Conroy. Oh, when Omar hit the scene, like skipping into errors like that and not and not bonking off the coping, that was kind of Omar's gift. And everyone was like, "Holy shit, Omar could air anything." So now all of a sudden, you start to see people like Frazier and The Rock and and those guys come in and start jamming the the you know, all the different types of moves together and and boosting up the height on everything. Chris Livingston was the guy in, in that H Street era. Again, going back to those those 90s riders, Neil Hendricks, so on and so forth. You, you can pump a whole list of names. There's a bunch of dudes. Sergi Ventura, Bob Narr, Lincoln Ueda. going as high as you can skating. This is all vertical skateboarding. Vertical goes away overnight and, and starts to go underground and is just kind of washed away. And at the same time that, that, that that's kind of being pushed out, you have a new, a new skateboarder on the scene, like Wade and like John and, and Phil. And they fucking skated everything and they skated fast and they fucking went for it. And then Marseille, the Marseille hip is made, and everybody goes to Marseille and starts launching over that, that type of stuff, and gap jumping. It's all the same shit, uh, you know? All those photos of, of Alan Peterson skating in Australia and fucking and in France and stuff, insane. I mean, shit, we gotta talk about Danny Way. I mean, Danny Way made up the mega ramp.
We just wanted to show you some fucking high airs, man. We just wanted to show you people sailing through the fucking stratosphere. That's all. Looking hot doing it. Yeah, dude. Airs. Fucking go skate. Turn this off. Just fucking make that tail snap. Snap. It's still Saturday night and you still have no pants on. Season 9. Click here.